How to make a tequila sunrise. Tequila sunrise is traditionally served in a highball glass, which looks something like this. But uh, I prefer to use my little, uh, I guess it's called an old-fashioned glass. I've had this one chilling in the freezer. I just, I always have a couple of those chilling because I make cocktails all the time. I've got this one with six ice cubes in it. Uh, what you want to do is, you want to, you want to have your orange. Some, some sort of orange juice. I like to use an organic orange for a fresh squeeze. I think that's the best way to go. Um, if you get an orange at your casual supermarket, they tend to be modified to be too sweet. Uh, so I think organic's always the best way to go. I always prefer organic things. It has the right orange flavor and not too much of the sweetness. Uh, definitely, you want to definitely go with an actual orange over orange juice whenever you can. That's true with any fruit and any cocktail. You always get a certain crispness from the fresh one that you'll never get in a bottled juice, even if it's not from concentrate. It doesn't matter. Um, in a tequila sunrise, the main ingredient is some sort of tequila. I prefer 100% white agave tequila. This is uh, I've got Don Julio here. This is my favorite at the moment. And you're also going to need a cherry. Um, now also you need grenadine. It calls for grenadine. I don't like to use grenadine because uh, all the grenadines on market have high fructose corn syrup in them. So if you can find it in your store, uh, you can get these uh, these preservative-free maraschino cherries with no no red dye, with pure cane sugar. And so the end result is the juice is is red, just like you want from grenadine. So it, it gets the same effect as uh, with with any uh, you know regular grenadine so that's what I'm going to use um, so what you want to do is you want to start by cutting your orange up I like to cut it in half and then you cut each half in half so they're basically quartering the orange and then what I do is I pick the the quarter that looks the most attractive I'll pick this one and uh, oh I'm left handed so this is going to be hard for you to see um, I'll try to move you want to cut from up here. You want to cut a little crescent shape down like that. What I like to do is uh, you want the edge to be thick, but it doesn't matter if the bottom part's kind of thin. But uh, the edge should be pretty thick to make it maintain its shape. And then what you do is I pick one of these, one of the seams on the orange, and I'll cut from there. You just do a little cut. That's for placing on the glass later. I'm going to set that aside for now. So then you take your glass. And you just take each quarter and you squeeze it into the glass. Uh, the the recipe on uh, the if you're going by the official bartender association is uh, I believe it's 90 milliliters orange juice and 30 milliliters uh, tequila. And it just so happens uh, a fresh organic orange is about 90 milliliters. I mean it doesn't have to be too exact. You can go by eye. I just squeeze these pieces in here. And actually, you could pour the co the tequila first. I don't think it matters. They say not to stir this drink, but I think they mean don't stir it once you've put the grenadine in. I think it's okay to stir it with just the orange juice and tequila in, and then. But once once you put the grenadine in, you do not want to stir it because that ruins the effect. I'll show you in a moment. I'm just. I'm putting two pieces in at once now to make sure I get all the juice out. I don't like to waste any of it. Now I was reading um, on a website, I was researching this before I did it, even though I make this all the time, I want to give as much accurate information as possible. The original Tequila Sunrise isn't made with uh, orange juice. Now it's made with, it's still made with tequila obviously, and it's still made with some form of, well no, it's not even made with grenadine, but you still need a liquid that looks red for the sunrise part of it. Uh, but anyway, the original one is made with, let's see if I can remember this, cream de cassis, which I guess is very red looking, and it's made with lime juice and soda water. So I would imagine it doesn't look orange at all. It would look more like a clear sky with red on the bottom. I've never tried that. I'll have to try that someday. But this is what is known as the popular tequila sunrise. This is what everybody knows about. If you order a tequila sunrise at any bar, maybe they won't make it with a fresh orange, but they'll definitely make it with some sort of orange juice. 
So I just put a shot while I was talking. I put a shot of uh, of tequila in there. Now uh, I guess that was about 45 milliliters. I like to have it a little on the strong side. Then what what you do is uh, you just pour some. Grin I don't like to be too specific about how much uh, of the red liquid I put in. I just pour it until I see some red appear on the bottom. I'll do a little bit more for this video just to make sure that you see the effect. So there you go. It looks red on the bottom. And you I. Sometimes people put the cherry on a toothpick and keep it out of the drink. I prefer to drop it into the drink so that it absorbs some of the liquor and flavors while, you know, in the time that it takes you to drink it. And then when it's all done, you could chew on the cherry at the end if you want to. But anyway, here's the orange uh, slice that I started with, the cut in it. You just put the cut inside of the glass like so. And there you go. There's your tequila sunrise. It's a very delicious drink.